Hi, welcome to another um, exclusive release video um, for Ross on White Cider and Perry. I've got two marvellous bottles of Ashton Brown Jersey, two different vintages, a 2015 and a 2017. Ashton Brown Jersey, one of the apples that they really love working with at Ross and White. Uh, normally it's used in a blend really, not really one that's appreciated as a single variety. So it's going to be interesting to see how these two compare. Uh, the 2015 is one barrel. Uh, it was in a plastic tank for a little while and then quickly went into to oak barrel. And then um, the 2017, if I remember right, uh, is two barrels. One that was in a neutral container plastic and one that was in a, a barrel. So you may see that the barrel influence is reduced in this, but it will be interesting to compare. Um, both 8.4%, a couple of years between them. Is there anything else I want to say? Let's try them. Yeah. I'm going to start with the with the oldest. So, 2015. Yeah. Here we go. Ooh. There's a nice little pop there. Whoa. <laughs> a bit frisky. Got some good bubbles there, isn't there? Lots from the conditioning. I think it went in at, I think Albert said 1.005 SG for the cider geeks out there. Um, and he, he tasted it a little while ago and thinks it's probably finished conditioning now. Uh, it, took, it was in the barrel for a long time before they bottled it because it just kind of seemed to stall. Um, I had a little sip of this about five months ago, I think, but I can't, can't remember how it was. So have a look at that colour. I mean, they're, they're actually quite similar if you've got them next to each other. Nice gold, really, really rich, slight haze to it from the bottle conditioning, I think. Um, lots of lovely bubbles. That smells really mellow, like, Almost, when you get like bittersweet apples like um, Ashton Brown Jersey is, sometimes you get full on tannin here, you know, like those, lots of those phenolics like spice or um, like medicinal qualities, but here it feels kind of gentle. It strangely smells a little bit sweet. It's definitely like clove um, and nutmeg maybe, but it's, it's gentle. Here, let's have a taste. Now you get the oak. And it does have a real perception of sweetness to it. That's weird. It is so smooth. It actually, it does not, I mean, this is five years old and it doesn't taste that old at all. It still tastes quite young. Although, they're, although I said the kind of tannins have mellowed out, so they give um, and then you know they feel like time has had a had a go at them. It still feels quite useful and bright on the on the palate. There's definite smokiness, but there's still that sweetness. I don't know why it tastes. I don't know why it tastes so sweet, but it's a bit not sweet. It's not like sugary sweet. It's kind of it's hard to describe. I'm gonna have to compare and then come back to it. Sorry about the road noise. But which is too nice to be inside today. Okay, let's try the 2017. Similar pop, not so much fizz, maybe? No, okay. Yeah, not so many bubbles for this. I don't know what um, gravity this went in the bottle at, actually. Okay, let's have a look at the color. This bit actually looks a little brighter. <laughs> you can't compare very well, but yes, it definitely looks um, like there's more yellow gold than orange gold, if that makes sense. Let's have a smell. Okay, this smells fruity, like um, citrus, um, like, a, like there's going to be more acidity. Maybe a hint of kind of pineapple, like, so like... Um, yellow acidity, uh, like yellow apples or something. Yeah, really fresh. Okay, let's have a taste. <laughs> really different, really different. As I said at the beginning, this one is like two barrels together, one was in wood and one was in plastic, whereas this is one barrel that most of the time is in wood. There's definitely less influence from the wooden barrel on this. Um, so there's not so much of the smokiness that I got in this one. 
does feel like there's much more acidity and it, it's juicier. I, I don't know how else to describe it. So mellow smoke, nice sweetness to it, but not sugar. I hate using that word because it's not sweet at all, but it gives you a, a feel of sweetness in the mouth. This one, brighter, a bit more acidity. I can't decide which one I like the most. I love them both. I'm going to really enjoy spending the rest of the day kind of working between these and um, maybe I'll add an edit later if I can pick a favourite, but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to. So, um, limited release. These trees, unfortunately, have been devastated by moths, uh, if, if I remember rightly, at Ross and Y. So it's going to be a long time before they come out again. Um, as I said at the beginning, they're not used that often as single varieties. Another reason is because they take so long to come into fruit and then they're biennial. So a lot of time in the making, five years in fact in this one in the barrel and three here, not going to be around for very long, not going to be long, um, not going to be around again for a long time. Get them while you can people. Cheers. <laughs>